2020 hasn't been the year that we imagined. It's been a year when we've been separated from our families, friends, hey and many of the activities we love. But the spirit of our communities, the sacrifice of so much, has helped us through the pandemic. And as we rebuild, we cannot shy away from the fact that our national recovery will be difficult, but we can't just seek to make up the ground that we've lost since March. We've got to set our sights higher. Fantastic. It falls to this generation, to this government, to this party, to take the opportunity to transform our country fundamentally and permanently for the better. Here's the NHS app, here we go. Successful yes. check-in, Uxbridge Library, look at that. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. How are things doing? We've been quite busy. I, I'm so pleased. Back. So pleased to see you open and, and trading yeah. well. Yeah, business is booming. Good. Since all this. Delighted to hear it. Good How are you doing? How's business? Is it all right? Actually, we've been very busy throughout this. We're there for yeah. all the patients. We're still open. Thank you for everything you've been doing. We must seize this opportunity to build back better. Build more houses to give people a chance to have a home of their own. Build more hospitals and rebuild more schools so that public services have the tools they need. Build the infrastructure that will transform and level up all parts of the UK. Build a stronger union, build a greener economy, build a fairer society, and build a better United Kingdom. Our plan to transform this country will not be blown off course. At the election, we promise to recruit 20,000 more police officers, we've already recruited 4,300. We promised to deliver 50,000 more nurses, with 14,000 already in place. We promised to get Brexit done. We left the EU on the 31st of January this year. Now is the moment to harness the extraordinary national spirit we've seen in the last few months and build back better.